Hi guys, Dale Bateman here. On this episode of Build Your Success Online, I'm here with the final episode, the final stage to your exclusive video showing you how to get more conversions on your website. Let's get started. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in this final part in my exclusive video series, I'm going to go over two words that can either make or break you in terms of your conversions, and it's trust and anxiety. These are two feelings that the people coming to your website will ultimately have. If you do your job well, they're going to have trust in you, but you have to fight off that anxiety that they might have and help them battle through it in order to get them converted into your loyal subscribers or even your paying customers. So let's take a closer look at these two terms. They're the final factors in getting your web conversions through the roof. So let's take a closer look right now. Here we go. Let's look at the final um, piece out of these five uh, prospects. And uh, this one is trust and anxiety. And uh, this is a very interesting one on the internet. Um, let's let's think about this for a minute. You know, for those of us who work on the internet and have gotten quite used to filling out forms and purchasing things online, this may not seem like a very big deal. You know, I want to I want to go buy Joe Blow's package. I go put my credit card info in. I hit submit. Boom, done. I don't even think about it. You know, we go visit a site, we enter our information, some credit card info, and bam, done. Okay. Well, you have to think when you're trying to sell a product online, who are you trying to sell this thing to? I mean, what about the vast, vast majority of internet users for whom there are grave concerns of identity theft or, or even just plain being ripped off? You know, and that is, trust me, that is the vast majority of people on the internet. You know, if you're now if, if you're selling a product that is geared towards internet marketers, yeah, you're probably okay. Although even still here, you're going to be dealing with it because you've got folks who have the money and are trying to move into internet marketing, and they want to try your product, they want to work with your product, and see if that thing will help them get rolling. So trust and anxiety. This is you know trust is the trait of trusting, of believing in the honesty and reliability of others. Anxiety is a vague, unpleasant emotion that is experienced in anticipation of some, and it's usually ill-defined, misfortune. You know, <laughs> these are two little factors that have to be in place properly for people to use your site. Now, in the earlier days of the Internet, uh, you know, marketers first ran into the privacy issue on the Internet. And this was, you know, longer ago. Um, smaller numbers of people were even buying at this point, and you know, this is the way it was. This was generally dealt with by using some form of, uh, and even then it wasn't called anti-spam, but it was an anti-spam statement. And these are generally good, but I'm going to point out for you in a moment here. These, you know, it should be noted that simpler statements tend to work best. Okay. You know, this was one where you get to a site, and under the uh, the opt-in form, it says, you know. We don't like, who likes spam? We don't like spam. We know you don't either. That's why we will never uh, email, rent, whatever, whatever, your, your information to any third party whatsoever. You know, spammers suck. And then they have this little image, the, the spam zero tolerance policy, things like that. You know what? I can tell you now, and here's a little, a little brief piece I'm going to give you in here. Uh, research has shown that if you have an opt-in box, and you want people to opt in, go with this left-hand option. Please do review our privacy policy. And privacy policy is a link. When you click it, the privacy policy opens in a small in a window on the page. That's it. That's all you want. Okay. <laughs> now the other statements seem like you're communicating with people. Nope. Go with this simple one. There's a little piece for you to use. Now let's let's look at another element of um, trust and anxiety. This is uh, borrowing from affiliated sources, okay? 
Now you think about it. One easy way to establish your, your, uh, your trust online is to borrow the source from one that's already in place and established. Now, you know, brands like Home Depot and Amazon and many others are at the top of their game, both on and offline. You can't really grab a spot like theirs, okay? But what you can do is let's work with something called social proof, okay? Now, social proof gets into showing from users of a product that they love it. Okay, and we're going to talk about just one form of social proof. There are a variety of others, but what we're going to talk about here is just testimonials. Okay, now there are other pieces that you can bring into a site. We're just going to talk about testimonials for right now. You know, so when you think about what a testimonial does to a web page, the impact is pretty darn substantial. You know, and this is just a brief one from a, uh, a that was that was sent in on a product. Not a big deal, but again very substantial. Now the social proof from another person can have a golden touch to a web page, okay? If you think about it, the greatest thing that a person can do for a web page is to give a totally unsolicited testimonial. Now let's take that and multiply that um, by 10 to 15 product admirers, okay? So suddenly you've got 10 to 15 uh, testimonials on a page or how about some of these pages where you they you read through a bunch of the testimonials and there's a link that says want to see more testimonials click here you click that it opens up a brand new page that could be <laughs> <coughs> excuse me well, I'm thinking it was uh, it was Marlon Sanders used to do this it open up a page that was it was you know like 10 pages long of just testimonial after testimonial after testimonial just this field of huge things or um or how about then um uh, John Reese released Traffic Secrets. He put that product out, had it out for a short time, and then he said, okay, everyone who's got this, send me your testimonials. Tell me how this has worked for you. Next thing you know, his when you get to that page, up at the top of it, it says proof in huge letters. And then down below it is this whole bank of audio and video testimonials of people who have used this product and as people explaining what it's done for them. Um, and I think I, I had one of those <laughs> I had I had one of those products on there. It's it's a great tool, and that helped him sell a ton of that product. Now, I'd like to touch base on on one other trust issue that can have a truly incredible influence on a website. You know, this is something that every website can and should have in place, but frankly, most do not. Um, you know, and this is one of those little pieces that quite frankly does not have to cost you a whole heck of a lot, if, if anything, um, to, to have in place on your site, but you need to do it. Now, before we go any further, I don't know if you remembered earlier on, I, I mentioned the number of folks that still have issues using a website. You know, now, These are the folks that really want to believe in an online purchase, um, but are quite frankly, they're scared. You know and you have to be able to address things for them. You have to do every little thing on your web page to help them feel comfortable moving through making a purchase with you. So this is one of those little things. And again, this is a very important piece of business that you've got to take care of, okay? So these folks are worried that the websites they're visiting just can't be trusted. So how does one address these concerns that these folks carry? Online trust icons, okay? This is too easy, too important to do. Uh, here are uh, you know a page with a number of different ones. Um, I mean, shoot, the the PayPal verified. All you have to do is use PayPal to sell stuff, and you get to use that. It doesn't even mean anything else about your website yet. It's showing it has this element of proof. The scan alert, hacker safe, fantastic, especially now with the you know the scan alert that they've 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 bought this thing. Um, a lot of power there. Uh, the BBB, and actually I've included this now that I, I think about it, I'm not sure they're still offering a BBB reliability program, um, but they may be. And then this, I love this center one, the, uh, the, the valued member of Honesty Online. Fantastic program, um, has a small monthly fee associated with it. Great, great program to be a part of. Um, 
I know the guy who's done this. He's done just great things with his images, and you're starting to see this on websites all around the internet, and it's just going to keep going. So you see, these simple little changes can have some of the greatest impacts on most any site. Uh, the trust that they convey carries shoppers over the line, making the purchase a reality. And that is the key. You've got to carry them over the line. Now, there are other tactics that can be used as well, such as consumer ratings. You know, Amazon has pretty much mastered that one. You go on their site, and uh, any product you look at has got this, you know, just this slew of, of uh, first there's the... Uh, the editors write up on it, and then there's this slew of, cons of consumer ratings down below it. And you know what? I'm I'm even I'm one of those people who, if I'm going to shop for something online, I'll go to Amazon. I look up a product, I read through the ratings, I find the one I want, um, and then I'll go buy it somewhere else because <laughs> you can usually get it for a little less. But again, it still gets me to that site, and there are times where I buy things from that site just because they're there. Um, you know, referrals, uh, security statements. These things all make uh, make a difference, you know. And referrals can be it's it's personal referrals from people. The security statements that's an interesting one even, and that can be in addition to that little trust icon, is a statement on the site that that states that you know this is a SSL uh, covered uh, up to you know whatever bit rate. And in all honesty, I don't think that really means anything to people, but inside it does. So the key is identifying the ways you can make that small change in doing it. Now, the takeaway you need to get here is that there are a variety of very different factors that affect conversions. Okay? Each of them has an impact on their own and should be attended to. Um, however, like, like any good marketing plan, you really need to take a step back and look at things from a holistic perspective. Each of them has an impact of their own, okay? They also work together. So, <laughs> you know, there's no way that you can move into your site and affect everything overnight, okay? But you do need to consider all the parts and how they work in conjunction. Then start making changes and testing out each one at a time. Now, before long, you'll have made you know, a, a difference in each element, and the overall result should be a dramatic increase in your conversions. Now, there's a lot going on here to think about. You, know, you, you may have just watched this and, and felt like slap yourself in the head and said, geez, that's why I'm not selling anything. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. The key is, this is a look at these different aspects that affect conversion and the ways you need to look at them, the ways you need to look at, you know, your your value your uh, your value proposition. Okay, look at your um, your prospect awareness, just to determine who is my prospect. How are they aware of the things I'm looking at? Am I selling a product that they know? Am I selling one that they've never even heard of and never will buy and never want? <laughs> You've got to figure these things out. So, you know, just regardless, you need to take each of these considerations into effect. Start working on each one. Like I said, you can't do them all at once. But move through this list of, uh, of, of pieces and, and look at your product. Look at your sales page. Look at your, your value proposition. Um, look at possible inhibitors, okay? Put those trust and anxiety pieces in place. It's too easy to go sign up for, uh, for Honesty Online and put that little logo on your site. Boom, done. And I'll tell you one other, this is another little aside with Honesty Online. You sign up for one of those accounts, okay? Say you've got 100 products. Say you have 10 products. You can use that single account for all of your products. That's fine. It's not a single-use thing. <laughs> Keep that one in mind. So, you know, at the end of the day, as you've worked with everything, you will find you've steadily improved your overall conversions. So there you go, guys, the final part of my exclusive video series helping you increase your conversions on your website. I hope you found some valuable content here. Please go back and watch the videos again. Read through the blog posts that accompany each one because it's different information in the blog posts than it is in the videos. It's even more content for you. 
but I hope you found some good value, and most of all, I hope you will start putting this stuff into practice in your own online business. Watch your conversions go through the roof and build your success online. Thanks so much again, guys. If you're watching on my blog, please sign up to do my free online bootcamp training. It'll get you to $1,000 plus per day in a matter of a few months if you work hard at it. If you're watching on YouTube, same thing. You can also sign up for my bootcamp there. Also, subscribe to my channel so you'll get all of my free content delivered to you on a daily basis. Thanks, guys, again for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video. And until then, I'm wishing you a fantastic day. Bye for now. Yeah.